Good morning. Good morning, Maria. Good morning, Miss Cynthia. How are you today? Oh boy, I am so good. Good, good, good. I am really good. Good. I am glad to have you back. Someone somewhat frightened, but that's a personal conversation because I just <laughs> I just read something that was a little um weird. You know, sometimes people say things that are yeah. strange and then you wonder. But go ahead. Okay. Let's talk about Mitch McConnell. Oh. Yeah. So I uh, I'm just gonna jump out. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna jump off of that for a moment. We're going to talk about Mitch McConnell's plan to continue to uh, destroy everything that Trump wants to do in the White House, you know, for for our country. Um, And and, uh, anyway, so I want to jump off of that for a minute. You know what they, when you go and look at, when you go and look at YouTube and you're looking at videos and you're looking at something that, that you might be interested in watching. Yeah. What I just noticed what just came to me in that in that split second was how they're advertising so kevin 24 7 shout out to kevin hi kevin uh great shows um they're like uh 10 15 minutes maybe the longest time would be fifth uh, a half hour uh he also does uh live shows so the shows he does are live shows but that's because he's got like 156,000 views. Yes. Uh, so his wife, Michelle, she does uh, Squirrel Squirrel Tribe, and uh, she also goes live. And then um, uh, uh, sometimes they'll do a show, a live show together. Okay. But what they do to get you in to watch their video. Okay, what they do to get you in to watch their show is uh, Kevin creates these um, uh, 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 thumbnails. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you one here. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay. So this this is the one. Get down, Lucy. Get down, Hoot. This is the one he does. It'll come through. There it is. Yep. He does that. Okay. And um, so he makes it uh, like pulls you in. So I gotta. I'm gonna try and uh, see what I can do there. That's. I find that very interesting. You know, because what I'm thinking is, you, you know, in doing this kind of stuff, uh, mess playing with this technology is we could actually do that. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that on the show. <laughs> yeah. I, I want, I'm going to give it a try. Why not? I'm going to give it a try uh, to see if I can be successful at it because of my thinking is, and anyone that <clears throat> might be able to help me out here. <clears throat> if by some amazing miracle, Chance that Kevin 24 7 catches our show or Michelle with uh, Squirrel Tribe catches our show. That'd be totally awesome. <coughs> Maybe you can let me know if I'm right on, on my thinking. No, I think you are. I think it would be if I... super cool. <coughs> you good? I'm good. If I take. this video and then go to canva canva is a uh, 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 software program i know i've used it um, oh okay in school oh okay well with the kids yeah (laughs) her adult kids oh no you know where i've used it i was like wondering where i used it I worked for a company named Ableist at one point. Oh, right, right, right. And I used it when I was working with them. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's a great program. And you can do a lot with it. So my thinking is to create this artwork, whatever it might be, 
Um, it's not going to be copying anybody else's because that's just sick and wrong to do that anyway. Uh, so I won't be doing that. But, you know, I like I like some of the things he does. Um, like that. No, so. I, I've seen videos like that. <clears throat> Here, here's the thing I have with them. And you're right. They do pull you in. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I'll see videos like that also. And then they have those. Um, uh, you can uh, can't think of the word right now, but you can you can have another voice like a voice over or um, like take over and talk about your video. It almost seems um, I mean, those are great just to pull you in. And obviously, I'm just talking about sometimes when you see that mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. often an, some automated voice or some other mm -hmm. voice over that that I kind of don't like. But yes, if we can do that and yeah. then we can actually have our show. Yeah, because it's just the advertisement for his right. show. It's it's not a voice over or anything. It's just the ad okay. that that he that he creates in that space for his show mm -hmm. um and then uh so I, I like how he does that and um the same thing with uh, uh patrick humphrey does the same thing they got these big bold letters on their uh on his screen uh and and then there's a thing and now sometimes what what some people will do for their videos is they'll put something up like uh, uh, they'll, they'll put something up that makes you think, oh, when did that happen? Well, I better look at that. And then it's something that hasn't happened yet. It's just a way to draw a person in so that the algorithm is triggered to see that people are watching their video. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. But, but it works. Don't. But it works, right? It works. So, but we're not. I don't want to really. I, yeah, but do we really like? I don't want to. I don't want to trick people. I want people to I, really be interested because they yeah. watch videos and they realize that we're actually talking about topics that are affecting us today. Right. Right. Um, and you know what I'm saying? And that shouldn't sneak people in. It should be like no. you're watching the news. You're watching, you know, people talk about really important topics yeah I mean, and we do yeah yeah you know? we do we do talk about some pretty important things we hope you watch till the end and hit the notification bell yep, yep. Um, the no you know at um, some point we're gonna have our do we have our comments on we do have our comments on okay leave a leave comment a comment leave it clean. what you we'll think comment. right share like subscribe and hit the notification And, and listen, you know, I mean, the, I, I've watched videos that are so, they have nothing to do with anything of substance, yeah. you know? So right. if you watch an eyebrow a lot video, of A lot of it is, is nice. A lot of it is, is, is just uh, uh, going on, getting new videos, and putting them on. So... We are beyond that. We are helping you to recognize what is in the newsroom. Not just people talking. You know, Kevin and Michelle, they do pretty good at getting the message across uh, pertaining to whatever newsroom they show. And so, um, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We don't show you a bunch of newsreels. We help you with us. Uh, uh, we, we help you to be aware. Uh, I have to take a late break. Uh, find something to oh, talk about winter gardening. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. We're going to actually do that on the next show. This show we're going to talk about McConnell. Um, maybe I can go um, through some of uh, Mitch McConnell's um, uh, timelines. So, for those of you who don't know him that well, go through the timeline. The crisis at the southern border. Oh, that was something. Hold on one second. Cynthia's taking a break.
ready and I'm getting my stuff together. Um, so his timeline of how, when he started. Okay, so uh, in 1968, Mitch McConnell, uh, to 1970, he was chief legislator, assistant to Senator Marlowe Cook. And then in 1974 to 1975, deputy assistant, United States Attorney um, for Legislative Affairs. 1975, acting assistant, Attorney General. 1978 to 1985, judge executor, uh, executive of Jefferson County. elected to the U.S. Senate to represent Kentucky. 1990, he was re-elected to the U.S. Senate. 1996, he was elected to the U.S. Senate. 2002, he elected to the U.S. Senate. 2003 to 2007, he was Senate Republican with thing we want to achieve is for President Barack Obama to be a one-term president. So there was a time where he made just actions, okay, where he thought justly, right, what was better for, you know, our country. Um, Barack Obama, in my opinion, was not a good president, did not bring race relations together. Good thing was he was the first black president that was needed. But just because you want somebody in for, um, you know, to be diverse doesn't mean that they're the right person. Don't vote somebody in for a movement. Vote the right person in. So, yeah. So he was making sense back then. He's not now. And Cynthia will tell you why. But on November 4th, 2014, he was re-elected to the um, Senate. Um, and then again in November 2014, uh, he was re-elected uh, as leader of the Republican Party of the Senate. So th th there was a point where he was against, you know, Barack Obama saying he did not. There was some just things that he said back when. Yeah. Cynthia's gonna, but there, but just because somebody is with a party, yeah. doesn't mean they continue to do the right thing. Right. So, so it's fallen from grace in so many ways. Yeah. I'm gonna let him get look this up. I'm gonna link this below so you can see his time. Oh, good. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, so now he's in his eighties, but he should be retired. He's been working since like like a habit it's just like anything else what what am i going to do with if i retire i won't be walking down the halls of congress you know i i won't be putting money in my pocket from china anymore <laughs> his wife is chinese and um they uh yeah there's a lot of uh, you know whatever uh, my okay so uh Twice now, Mitch McConnell has frozen at the podium, giving a speech. He is stepping down. You do know that, right? Oh, yeah. You know what he's doing? He's stepping down so he can go into a different area of Congress. He's stepping down so he can go into the uh, receiver. He's the GOP leader right now. Right. Okay, so, in... Um so he's stepping down in February. Yeah. Yeah. So he can. So he can be in a different part. What? What is that he wants to go into? Honey. What is that Mitch McConnell is trying to get into? Yeah. <laughs> Chairman 
of the Defense Committee. It, it might be a little different than that. Uh, Agenda. Right, but he also wants to control the defense spending. That's, he, that's, that's pretty much what this is saying. Yeah, yeah. That's his focus. Um, uh, uh, I'll show you. I'm, I'm, okay, so here's a quote from him. This is from uh, McConnell announced his priorities for 119th Congress. Quote from, from Mitch McConnell, America's national security interests face the gravest array of threats since the Second World War. At this critical moment, a new Senate Republican majority has a responsibility to secure the future of U.S. leadership and privacy. I intend to play an Ranking member Deb Fisher has done an outstanding job advancing these causes, and I know she will remain a key partner in the committee's ongoing work. So, uh, a lot of it has to do with a lot of them. What, they're, what they want to do is they want to hold Trump back as long as they can. It's, yeah. it, it's completely insane what they're doing. Just completely ridiculous what they're doing. He might say that he's in there trying to, you know, make sure that the budget's right and all this. But we're talking about a man who's had two major episodes. Episode, major episodes to the point where, you know, you're looking at him wondering if he's going to die right there on the spot. And his arms, oh my God, They don't do that. They want to make sure that they're getting their power and their money. Well, look at how long That's they it. tried in standing up there. Yeah. No, where they didn't do anything. And I think that's the problem that, you know, you won't find the Democrats ever taking anybody from, I mean, the 
Republicans that are taking any of the Democrat politicians right now to mass workers. You're not going to want that. But the problem we have is that um, the problem we have is that, that the Democrats To, who are, you know, listen, they're old, and I'm not going to put down old people because they're valid human beings. Well, yeah, and but what they need happens to with age, age is <laughs> dementia, and your your body starts to fail, yeah. and you're not up to par right. with conducting yourself in a fashion that is, that is, that is, um, that will protect the citizens of America, whether it's um, voting in laws, um, uh, you know, making major life-changing decisions for the citizens yeah. of America. He yeah. is not up to par. Biden was not up to par. And the Republicans are known to do this throughout history so that they can keep their political party intact. Um, if they're... Yeah. If they feel that there's somebody stronger on the Republican side, they will allow these, these politicians to be front and center stage at any risk, and they yeah. don't care. No, no, they, no. they use them as, as like, but, but just as like a puppet. Oh, they're yeah. behind him. They're making all the decisions, like yeah. Like you had the Obamas, you had um, Clintons, you had Oprah, you had, I mean, for God's sakes, you had people like Beyonce throwing yeah. big money into Biden way before even Harris was coming around. But all these yeah. people were like, were, were like, you know, so outspoken on Biden. things that they don't realize what they're doing and so it's like it's like no, telling, they realize what they're doing <clears throat> yeah they're but doing the person it doing it intent. doesn't realize what they're yeah, doing yeah there's intention you there know? they're doing it with the intent yeah, yeah. to stay in it's power like, no matter what it's like pete headset okay so now pete he headset has been uh, uh asked by trump uh, chosen by trump to be the um lead in the uh, military, uh, whatever it is, Pentagon or whatever it is. Anyway, I have no words. But now he's, he's being accused of this uh, uh, woman, Mary. Uh, apparently, he had said he was at a bar, some kind of event, uh, event or whatever event. So Pete Hegg says to be kicked out of what Trump is trying to get him into. So every everyone that Trump is choosing is being destroyed. They're being attacked. Yeah. Um, trauma that's caused by 
associate people as a victim and go, oh, we're victims, we're victims. Yeah. We actually fight to not be victims right. and to be survivors, which is a whole different show. Right. But so. you have these women, one second, you have these women go out there, and this is important, Cynthia. Yes, and is very important. Right. Instead of when, when you scream, great, because you want, you don't want a political party. You don't want somebody, and you're hurting victims who have been truly abused, mm -hmm. raped, subjected to violence. You're hurting them. So it happens over and over again. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say the Cosby's thing too. When you go up to a room with a married man, because they're, they're, they're stars. They're on yeah. a platform that, um, that you know who they are that if they're married. Right. If you go to a room with them, you're going in there with the intent that something might happen. Nobody right. walks into a hotel room with a man not understanding why they're there. They yeah. do. Okay? Yeah. You don't yeah. do it. Right. And don't cry rape if it's not. Yeah. Because you don't want a certain person you know, on a political platform. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's wrong, Cynthia. And that's yeah. to say because it happens too often today. It, it does. Yeah, it's just it's horrible. You know, it's so, horrible. So it kind of, it kind of comes full circle. You know, talking about the model. How, not just about the race, but how good. What's wrong with this family? These people should be being charged with elders. Biden's wife should be charged with elders. The whole freaking chapter should be charged with elders. So shit happens. So shit happens. And all of them work with him. Yep. Work and, with him. And all of them that work with Mitch McConnell. You know, the same thing. And, and so that's what needs to stop. I completely agree, term limits. So that's our bid on Mitch McConnell. I mean, I really think that, that there should be a cap. I think maybe Absolutely. 69, you know? You know, it used to be 62. 69. When, when, when I was a teenager, retirement was 62. Then. People started getting more healthy over the years. Uh, they started working out more. They started giving a shit about their bodies. And so, boom. I think 70 is the latest that they should be allowed to be yeah, yeah. in politics. Uh, I would say retirement at, at age 70. You know, unless your health is, because there are some people whose health begins to But there can't be an system. exception. They've got to stick to it because people will yeah. stop fighting it otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have so, their stupid like. Yeah. So Ooh. that's our bit on that. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. We love you. We do yeah. love you. Yeah. And we, and we Okay. Thank you all so much. And we are thank out of so here. Much. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us here at uh, Mornings. <laughs> our, our very Mornings with but loving Cynthia subscribers. And yes, we love you all. There's going to be more. I there's going to be, well, there's going to be more, but we're, yes. but no matter what, we're going to keep at it. So. That's right. That's right. We're on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, and soon. our next show is going to be about gardening. Yes, and winter the, garden. Yeah, Minnesota zones, the Connecticut zones, and um, down south the, zones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna. There's talk five about gardening zones. Hollies and yes. Beautiful, okay. Beautiful landscape. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, Bye. Maria. <laughs> Until next time. Stay safe out here. Up, oh, up, oh, I gotta find the end first. What are you ending? What is wrong? Uh, oh, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. There she went. <laughs>